So, Progressive Mob cancels crowdfund of comic book legend Mike Barron. So if you don't know who Mike Barron is, he is a legend in comic books. He had this really incredible run on The Punisher. He uh, created uh, um, the superhero Nexus and The Badger. He's written a ton of indie comics. He wrote one of my favorite Batman miniseries. Just a um, fantastic writer. He has a whole bunch of novels out. Definitely check those out on Amazon. You know, after you check out The Seven Royals, obviously. But check out him to your wish list as well. And uh, writing for uh, Red State, Kira Davis, she says, oh, by the way, I know Kira Davis. She's in a lot of amazing Babylon Bee skits. Definitely check out her writings and her sketches on Babylon Bee. They're hilarious. But anyway, she writes, Mike Barron is an award-winning and celebrated comic book creator. His credits include writing for Marvel and DC. Barron has a long, was a longtime writer of The Punisher and the popular comics Nexus and Badger. And sorry to repeat, those are just a few of his accomplishments, but now Baron can add one more honor to his impressive resume. Canceled creator. After the sex of his Thin Blue Line story, Baron once again turned to crowdfund for his latest project, a crime drama centered around a Cuban-American hero who fights uh, drug cartels at the border. Baron told Red State crowdfunding is an increasingly popular me method for funding cutting edge comics. And he was proud to tell a story that didn't bash readers over the head with politics, but instead just told an, um, an entertaining story with his latest title, Private American. Full disclosure, I did back the crowdfunding campaign for Private American. Many, uh, this is Baron speaking, many comic pros have turned to crowdfunding to tell stories that the industry no longer tells, entertaining stories. As a longtime Punisher writer, I asked myself, what would Punisher be doing if I were writing him? He'd be on the southern border trying to staunch the flow of human traffickers, fentanyl, and terrorists flooding the country. As always, my most important purpose is to entertain. Proto American is as exciting as it is relevant, devoid of lectures or bumper stickers. It's an exciting entertainment story. And then Kira says, unfortunately, in today's climate, if you're not assaulting your audience with progressive looning, you get labeled a right wing nut job. And then she goes on to talk about how the Daily Coast, uh, I don't, I didn't know people still read the Daily Coast, but apparently it's still around. Um, they first, they made a couple of mistakes. First, they said that, um, that they, that Baron was a co-creator of the Punisher and that's not true. He just wrote, did a run on the Punisher comics, but this guy for Daily Coast, his name is Star Mingum. He called the comic a diatribe of racist propaganda and still fantastic terrorism disguised as a funny book. Um, that is, that is just not true. Um, he compared it to the Turner Diaries and a couple other books that were written by uh, people who, you know, believe melanin is a certain type of melanin is superior or lack of melanin, I should say. But um, he said, Baron says, we all know, know why, why the comic, why the book was banned. It's about the southern border. We're not supposed to talk about the southern border. We're not supposed to talk about a lot of things. These people who attack me have never read the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, or the Bill of Rights. They don't understand the First Amendment. Anything they don't like is hate speech. And that is so true. And um, we see this happen all the time. He got the comic book actually got banned off one of the crowdfunding pages, and then another one shadow banned it. So even if you type in the, the name directly into the search bar, it doesn't come up. I just think that that is silly. I think that, and especially based on one article where Barron wasn't even allowed to defend himself. And by the way, I've interviewed Mike Barron and I've read a ton of his comics. The man is a genius when it comes to these kinds of stories. He knows how to make tough guy stories. He knows how to do that. And I just think that it's so incredibly sad that um, this is what's happening in our day and age where one person and then a few weirdos on social media can make a couple of accusations and everything shuts down. I think that that just shows the sad state of our society in America. We, you know, when people can't write edgy things, you know, Dave Chappelle talks about this as a comedian all the time. Um, cancel culture has just become, um, has just become out of control and we need to find a way uh, to rein it back in because it is kind of, um, it is kind of uh, ridiculous.
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up, that you'll leave me a comment and tell me what you think, that you'll share it out with your friends, and of course, consider subscribing to Studio Jake. I cover all kinds of nerd and pop culture topics, including film, television, anime, comic books, and so much more. I hope that you'll also head over to my main website, studiojakemedia.com, where I have even more news, views, and commentary. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, head over to my Locals page. That's studiojakemedia.locals.com. It's the best way to support me. I'm trying to build a little community there. I have exclusive reviews and articles, so definitely head over there and check it out. And I'll see you next time right here on Studio Jake.